Welcome back to the PX Grid Developer video series. In today's video, we'll be going over dynamic topics. I'll show you how to propose a new topic to PX Grid, how the admin can approve this topic, and then how to publish and subscribe to notifications on this new topic. We'll have our client propose this new topic, walk through the admin UI to approve it, and then create a client that can both publish content on this topic and then consume information from it. So let's get started. I've created a new Java file called Dynamic Topics, which is a copy of the ANC Actions file we made last time. However, I've removed the ANC logic from main. All it does now is perform a PX grid connection and then wait. So first, we'll create an instance of the core client step. This stub, like the ANC client from the last video, will generate a core query object. When building your own capability, you can create stubs on top of this much like the ANC package demonstrates. We will use this core client object to propose a new capability to PX Group. Before proposing the new capability, however, we'll need to configure the core query object with some information about the capability. We'll need a name, a version number, a description, and a platform name. We'll also need to create a list of viable query names and another list of viable action names. Once all of this information has been declared, we simply call the propose capability method on the core query object. Now at this point, the administrator on ICE would go about approving and creating groups for our new capability. Let's configure our client to receive notifications of these actions as well. We'll create a notification callback class that handles the registered capability update notification message. It will have a handle method that simply prints out the change made, the capability that was changed, and the version number of that capability.
Now let's run our client. We can see that the capability has been proposed to PXGrid. Let's head over to the ICE admin UI to approve the new capability. Once we approve it, we should get a notification on our client that the auction capability has been approved. Navigate to Administration, PX Grid Services, and then Capabilities. On the Capabilities table, you'll see a list of all the available capabilities on this PX Grid. The auction capability is there with the pending status. Once we click Approve, it switches to Enabled. If we head back to the PX Grid client, we can see that our client has indeed received a notification of this approval. Cool, our topic has been created. Now let's add our client to the three new groups that PXGrid automatically creates for the new topics. The Publish group, the Subscribe group, and the Actions group. Each group provides special privileges for each client. The Publish group allows clients to send out new information on the topic. The Subscribe group allows clients to receive information on the topic and query for specific data. The Actions group allows clients to perform the available actions on the topic. For simplicity, our client will be part of all three groups. Navigate to the Clients table on the ICE Admin UI and select the Tutorial Client. Then click the Group button. A pop-up will appear with all of the groups that this client is currently in. To add more groups, simply select the Group Input box and a list of available groups will appear. Let's select all three and click Save. Now we can see that the client is part of all three groups. Now let's make some code changes to our client so that it publishes data onto the grid in this new topic and then receives the data back from the PX grids as a subscriber. First, let's comment out the proposition logic. We'll have our client first subscribe to the auction capability and set up a simple auction notification handler. Once our client has successfully subscribed, we'll then have it publish a notification. We'll call Publish Capability and then send in a reference to our auction capability. This tells px that this client intends to publish content to this capability. We'll then utilize the generic message builder and the generic message classes to construct a notification for our publisher. Normally, a new model that defines a new capability would extend these classes to create their communication space specific implementations. For now, our notification will simply contain the text, auction notification content goes here, and a tag with value sample tag.
We then send our notification using the grid connection objects notify method and pass in the required capability. When we run our application, we'll see that the client subscribes to the auction capability, sends out a notification, receives a notification for the new publisher declaration, and then receives another notification for the one that was previously just sent out to PXGrid. On the ICE admin UI, the client shows up as a publisher and subscriber of the auction capability. In a more practical scenario, separate and comprehensive publishing and subscribing applications would be built around different communication spaces. A good example is ICE itself, which acts as a publisher in the identity model. In the next few videos, we'll go over how to download information in bulk from PXGrid and username password-based authentication. There are some key differences here between ICE release 2.2 Denali and early releases, so stay tuned.